Spanish giants tempted by swap deal proposal for player Ten Hag is obsessed with, could see £250,000 p slash w red depart. Barcelona are reportedly mulling over a proposal from Manchester United, which, if accepted, would see Frankie de Jong finally make the move to Old Trafford. With Eric Ten Hag said to be obsessed, Football 365, with the dynamic midfielder, Ineos Chiefs have put forth the prospect of one-away Jadon Sancho being used in a swap deal for De Jong, who would then reunite with his former Ajax coach and teammates Andre Onana, Mathis De Ligt and Nasser Masraoui. Sancho, 24, has been heavily linked with both Paris Saint-Germain and, surprisingly, Chelsea. He was omitted from United's matchday squad for their Premier League opener last night, with Ten Hag citing an ear infection as the reason behind the player's absence. The Red Devils went on to claim three points against Fulham thanks to Joshua Xerxes' late goal to mark his debut in style. He, along with Antony, Ahmad Diallo, Alejandro Garnacho, Marcus Rashford, Rasmus Hodgland and Facundo Palistri, will all be vying for starting roles over the course of the term, so it remains to be seen what role Sancho will play, especially if his form is similar to that of his first three seasons at the club. Nonetheless, the decision of the winger's potential La Liga switch now lies with Hansi Flick. Should Barcelona opt to proceed, they would then have to dip into the market for a cut-price defensive midfield addition. Manchester United send message of support to former player after scary injury. Manchester United have sent a message of support to their former player Angel Gomez after he was knocked unconscious in a scary moment while playing for Lille on Saturday. The 23-year-old has been at Lille since signing from Manchester United in 2020 and was in action on the opening day of the League One season at Reims. It was still early in the game when Gomez jumped and won a header before being hit hard and late while in the air by Amadou Cohn of Reims. It was a straight red card for Cohn but the only concern of everyone in the stadium was for Gomez as he lay on the pitch unconscious. The game was paused for 34 minutes as the England under-21 international received the treatment he needed before being stretchered off the field. Lille confirmed on X while the game was still ongoing, Angel Gomez has regained consciousness and has been transferred to hospital. All our thoughts are with him. Manchester United, the club at which Gomez grew up, posted, sending love and strength to at a Gomez underscore 47, who has been taken to hospital following a collision while playing for Lille. We're thinking of you, Angel. Lille went on to win the match 2-0 thanks to goals from Bafod Diakite and Jonathan David with Diakite holding up a Gomez shirt while celebrating his opening goal. Lille coach Bruno Genesio said it was a very, very scary moment but the news since has been reassuring and he has spoken to Gomez. It was very hard. From the shock, I understood that it was serious, said the Lille boss. These are things that we should not see on a field. There are mistakes that can be excused. This one for me is not. We were very, very scared. The latest news is rather reassuring, but it is better to be careful. Angel asked if he was going to play on Saturday, it is a good sign if he has a sense of humor. For me the match was secondary tonight. Why did I seem annoyed at the time? I wanted things to go much faster in the care. We knew it was serious. We knew it right away. I was angry, because it's hard to see one of your players on the ground. We spend a lot of time together, we're a family and to see one of your players being attacked, because it's an attack, it's very difficult to live through, it was emotionally very hard to live through for the players and the staff. Some were on the verge of tears. Well done for managing to do the job, because it's never easy in a big thought for Angel, we're happy to have some reassuring first news. Angel was conscious when he was evacuated. I know he talked, he asked about the results, he was humorous, but I think we have to wait a little. He is in the hospital. The most important thing is that he recovers peacefully from all this. Honestly, I was very, very scared, I don't want to see the images again. Ten Hag praises Man United player who almost left the club this summer. Eric Ten Hag has praised the very important performance of midfielder Casemiro in Manchester United's 1-0 win over Fulham on Friday. The Red Devils made a winning start to their 2024-25 Premier League campaign with a late goal from debutant Joshua Xerxes settling what was a difficult clash with the Cottagers. 
It took until the 87th minute for United to make the breakthrough and before then, Fulham missed multiple opportunities to pick up a shock victory at Old Trafford. Things could have been very different for United were it not for the performance of Case Miro. The 75-time Brazil international made four tackles, four clearances, seven recoveries and one interception to keep the visitors at bay. On the other side of the ball, meanwhile, Case Miro was at the center of much of United's best play, creating three chances, including two big chances, and setting up Alejandro Garnacho to provide the cross for Xerxes' winner. That performance comes after a summer of speculation that Case Miro could leave the club, with a move to Saudi Arabia looking most likely at one point, via Talksport. Speaking after United's win on Friday, manager Ten Hag was full of praise for Case Miro, who he believes is back to his best. He was absolutely, in that midfield department, unit, he was very important, said Ten Hag, via Manchester United's official website. In possession, out of possession, organizing, interceptions, duels. On the ball, smart solutions, as we know him. So yeah, this is the Case Miro we all enjoy. Following their win over Fulham, Man United will now prepare to travel to Brighton and Hove Albion next Saturday. Eric Ten Hag dealt injury blow as Manchester United defender spotted on crutches. A video of Manchester United centre-back Victor Lindelof has surfaced leaving doubt around a speedy return for the Swedish defender. The Red Devils got their Premier League season underway in impressive fashion on Friday night, beating Marco Silva's Fulham side 1-0 at Old Trafford. Although Eric Ten Hag will be happy with the three points, it was a hard-fought win with Fulham a constant threat on the counter-attack with Emil Smith-Rowe, Adama Traore, and Alex Iwobi. However, the Red Devils finally found the breakthrough with just three minutes on the clock thanks to new signing Joshua Xerxes who appeared off the bench just minutes prior. The Dutch centre-forward was pivotal in the build-up, receiving the ball in the middle of the pitch before spaying it out wide. Xerxes then made a darting run into the area where the ball was fired back to his feet and with a delicate touch, he guided it into the far corner. With Ten Hag's attack now looking promising, attention will turn to his defensive options with fans optimistic about the additions of Lenny Yarrow and Mathia De Ligt. But it looks like the club will have to make do without experienced defender Lindelof who was pictured on crutches during a video on his wife's Instagram.